Howdy, folks. It's Trey and Lisa. And we want to chat a bit about the new HP Delta TX. HP announced their new Delta recently. We were able to see it in person at the recent Recombent CycleCon in Xenia, Ohio. Paul and crew were there in person to offer some demos for the new Delta trike and other trikes in his stable. We were offered an opportunity to bring this home and test ride and provide our thoughts. So let's dig into it. Paul showed me the basics of the trike and sent us on our way. We loaded the trailer with our own trikes and headed home. The trike is built with the typical quality we've come to expect from HP. Attention to detail is evident in every part of the bike. Clean quality welds, excellent cable routing, excellent paint and powder coating all exhibit quality. It has rear suspension with this model having the very nice RockShox Monarch RL Air Shock. This is a fully adjustable and the best shock they offer for the model. HP includes a suspension air pump to handle the adjustment to suit your ride. There are other shocks available as well. Overall, the trike weighs 71 pounds in its lightest version. The trike is meant to be easily transportable. In just a few minutes, you can dismantle the Delta TX into three parts using only a five millimeter Allen wrench. You can see the sections in the video, front, rear, and seat. The handlebars store under the rear wheel section. I was able to fit this into the back of a Honda CRV with no problems. HP has an excellent breakdown and symbol video. Check the description for a link. There are plenty of adjustments to help fit riders of various sizes. Easy to adjust seat, adjustable handlebars to include a different size handlebar stem for shorter riders. There are various options for motors. Bafang M300 is one and several versions of the Shimano Step motors are offered. This trike came equipped with a Shimano Steps EP801 Cargo Series pedal assist motor, coupled with the Invelio Trekking Automatic Internal Hub. This 36 volt motor is rated at 85 Newton meters and uses a 418 to 630 watt hour battery. The unique difference in this particular motor versus similar torque motors is the EP801 develops more thrust at lower speeds. The speed is regulated to meet government requirements in the EU. It's limited to 25 kilometers an hour or 16 miles per hour. And in the US, it's limited to 45 kilometers an hour or 28 miles per hour. This trike was equipped with the Enviolo automatic shifting system. It's a pretty cool system. It's truly an automatic shifting system that integrates well with the STEPS motor. The system has a Bluetooth app that allows you to go in and adjust certain variables. You pick your preferred cadence in the app or interface and the program will automatically shift at your desired speed. When you come to a stop, the system automatically downshifts to get you ready to start again. The ratio range is 380% or 0.5 to 1.9 which so far has handled any situation we've had to date. Easy cruising on bike paths, roads, and up fairly steep hills. This motor and shifting combo were plenty to handle steep hills with the cargo basket loaded or cruise easily on the road or bike path. The motor was quiet and smooth. You really don't notice it, providing the assistance that it does. We've done several 30 plus mile rides and at the end, we had plenty of battery to go further. I did not get a chance to ride it to full battery depletion, but I estimate being able to do at least 50 miles with some battery left, depending on terrain and cargo carried. This trike was configured with a very nice Bush and Mueller IQX series front light. It is a very nice wide beam pattern with a max of 300 lux. Good cutoff on the top of the beam to prevent blinding oncoming traffic. The rear facing red light is constant versus blinking due to EU regulations. We were able to put many miles on the bike on the trails in Xenia, Ohio. My wife, Lisa, and I really enjoyed riding the trike there. It was very comfortable, easy to ride, and easy to get on and off. Compared to a Tadpole trike, this trike has a much tighter turning radius. You can literally turn around within the width of even a narrow bike path. I can easily see this as being the perfect commuter trike. You can ride this to work and carry the sensors you need in the optional cargo basket. Trips to the grocery store are a breeze. You can remove the cargo basket and take it into the store with you. 
I was able to fit two full-size grocery paper bags in the cargo basket. I was even able to transport several things in the basket from my shop to a friend. During our rides in Xenia, Ohio, it literally became the pack mule. We carried people's jackets, spare tools, inner tubes, helmets, water bottles, and various other things. The cargo basket made it very convenient to haul stuff and easy to retrieve when needed. I can also see this being a great touring track. The automatic shifting and e-assist provide everything you need to just sit back, ride, and relax and enjoy the scenery. If you would like to take your children or pets along, you can add the optional tow hitch and pull the trailer with them inside. No problem. You could also use a trailer for touring, hauling all of your camping gear and various things needed for a long distance tour. Two issues you should be aware of. Be careful in off camber situations, such as riding on the side of a hill or dropping off a small curve or onto a road or similar situations. You sit slightly higher on this trike, which raises your center of gravity and makes it more top heavy. The other concern is turning while riding at a faster pace. The trike could lift the wheel, causing a stability issue. This is not something you want to do. These issues are not unique traits of just this Delta trike. It concerns all Deltas to some extent. It's nothing to be afraid of, just something to be aware of. I rode many miles on the Delta TX, but my wife, Lisa, rode even more. Let's hear from her now. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Trey. How are you today? I'm good. Hmm, thanks for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Awesome. So tell me, what other trikes have you ridden? I have ridden many models from Hossa, Ice, HP, Greenspee, Cat Trike, and others. So tell me, what do you think about the Delta TX? I loved it. It was so good. That much? Yeah, oh. a lot. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, I did. So how would you say the Delta TX compared to other brands? So in comparison, ooh, yeah, it would definitely be one I would purchase for sure. It was a, it was a winner. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Good deal. Mm -hmm. So you've already said you loved it, mm -hmm. but did you really love it? I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so if you could speak to other lady trike riders, what would you tell them? Well, probably I could fill up a day and tell all sorts of things, but I'll limit it to just a few words. Um, the e-assist and the automatic shifting allow me to focus more on the actual act of riding versus what gear I'm in. Did I remember to downshift at the stop sign? Can I make it up the hill, etc.? I can focus more on God's creations, butterflies, and the birds and the trees. At the end of the day, I wasn't sore or weary and was ready to go the next day. Awesome. Well, thanks, Lisa. So let's uh, let's wrap this up. I would not hesitate to jump on this trike and head out cross country for a weekend trip loaded down for camping. Alternately, I could use it in my daily or weekly errand runs to get groceries or anything else needed in our daily lives while leaving my car at home. My suggestion for anyone looking for a comfortable trike is to go for a test trike. Our current trike market is dominated by tadpole trike designs. It's nice to see HP entering the Delta trike market. In my opinion, the HP Delta TX trike will rank highly in the current list of Deltas offered. The base price is roughly 6,900 to 12,000 based on the options you select. The Delta TX should be available at your local HP Velotechnic dealer right now. Links to the configurator will be in the description below.